Hey guys, so um, pardon my attire. I'm just lounging at home. So yeah, so I have this look for you guys, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it. Um, it's probably be like sunset something. Yeah. Um, now my inspiration for this was um, when I was driving home, traffic as usual, um, and I just looked out the window and I was like, oh my god, it was beautiful. The sun was setting and it was gorgeous and um okay picture this with me you see like in the horizon you see like the trees and houses they're like all black and then right above it is like dark blue that's like interspersed with like light blue like a mixture and then it gradually transitions slash blends into like a purple and then it like transitions into like a salmon pink which transitions into a, like, a pastel yellow. Um, I hope you guys like this look, and if you guys want to see how I did it, then continue watching. Bye. Okay, so as usual, we'll start off with the primer. Um, prime the upper lid, all the way to the brows, and the lower lash line as well as the inner eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna be starting off with a highlight. I'm only gonna be using one or two. Um, brushes for this look. So I'm going to start off with my blending slash crease brush. Right here, this light champagne color. That. I'm going to apply that to my brow bone and then bring it down to my inner third, to my tear duct. Okay, so the next thing that I'll be doing is applying liner. Um, so I did a double wing. Uh, I'm gonna try to show you how I did it. Um, I'm gonna do my best. So yeah, just just watch. I'm gonna be using my gel liner. almost reaches the length of my brow, my eyebrow, but not really. Okay, so for the bottom line, it's really, really simple. Basically, all you have to do is place the brush over half the length of the top line, like that, and then just do a straight line until you touch the lower lash. And just basically um, fill it in. So the next thing that I'll be doing is lining my lower lash with a purple liner. I'll be using this. Then with a Q-tip, just um, smudge it a little bit. Then dipping that same Q-tip Q in a shadow that's the same color as the liner, which is this. Just go over the liner. So I'm gonna start off with a pink. And I'm gonna be using this a um dusty sort of pink. It's this like that. It's like a pinkish purple. And we're putting that uh, up here and bending it down to the crease. vibrant purple, you can tell, into the crease, like right below this pink, sort of layering it on top, but yet it's below the pink, and we're going to only take the color about two-thirds of the way in. So like that, and then just clean the brush, and then blend the pink and the purple into each other. Okay, so 
so that's good enough for now. We'll just continue doing this a little bit later. Okay, the next color that we'll be taking is this um, navy blue. Taking that into the same brush, and we're going to be placing this on the outer third, like place where your eye naturally forms like a dip, right there. And then just put it in, in circular motions, and then blend it into the purple. colors, make it smoky, and then we, um, you know, like, add a, bit, a little bit more pink or a little bit more purple, like, wherever we find the need to. my best to make them the same as I possibly can. So now for the last color, which is this lid color here, I'm going to be taking this yellow gold, replacing that, using the same crease brush, just clean it up, replacing that into the, on the lid like that, and then blending the color out. blend out the edges, like use your brush to like blend the inside, you know, make sure it's smoky, make sure that they look blended and they look symmetrical. Like this one is more purple. <laughs> just basically just tweak tweak it until you like what you see. I'm gonna take my highlight color once again, this one, and I'm gonna go over my brow and bring it in as well back down again to my tear duct area and just curl your lashes, apply mascara and yeah so I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Now we're going to move on to the cheeks. So first I'm going to start off using the same thing, take a angle brush, I'm going to do that and I just apply it out here on my cheeks. Girl, it's 976 right big and apply that to my lips and over that I'm going to be applying this lip gloss from Fanny Serrano called Lustrous Berry Okay, so I almost forgot. Um, I, you have to reline your eye, like, retrace the black liner. I'm going to be doing that with a black shadow. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.